Why do we here in Texas and all over the U.S. celebrate Cinco de Mayo? What is the significance of that holiday? Welcome to TDC History. My name is Ana Gonzalez, and today, we have to talk about the national holiday we've come to know as Cinco de Mayo. Join me as we look into the origins of this Mexican-American holiday on our show entitled Cinco de Mayo. But first, if this is your first time on our channel, welcome to TVC History. If you like and appreciate early Texas history, take a moment right now and click the like and subscribe buttons. Also, if you want to take advantage of all of our videos, hit that notification bell. That way, you won't miss out on any of our future videos. Finally, please support our efforts here at the TBC by purchasing Cool Texas theme merch from our online store. Check out our vast selection of very colorful and vibrant Texas Patriotic Texas themed tees, available in several colors in both short and long sleeves. Use promo code TVC1836 to get 20% off your purchase. The link to our store, TVC Promo Gear, is provided in the description section. Now let's get to our presentation. By order of the Spanish Viceroy, Baltasar de Zuniga y Guzmán, on a beautiful Thursday morning, Cinco de Mayo, 1718, Friar Antonio de Olivares met with Governor Martín de Alarcón and about 30 families, including Native Americans, near a river in northern New Spain, for a ceremony. That ceremony marked the founding of a new Spanish presidio by putting mud and straw together. They called the new presidio San Antonio de Bejar. Cinco de Mayo represents the beginning of the first civil settlement in Texas, and that is why here in Texas we celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Or, is it? Not really. La fecha Cinco de Mayo is observed to commemorate the Mexican Ant's victory over the French Empire at the Battle of Puebla, on Cinco de Mayo, 1862. Under the brave leadership of General Ignacio Zaragoza, who was born in Goliath, Texas, the Mexican army fought fiercely against one of the world's finest armies. And, although Mexico had less men at that famous battle, the Mexicans fought with a lot of heart and unbelievable bravery using some pre-Columbian melee-type weapons. Finally, a daring last-minute cavalry charge led by Porfirio Diaz won the day. The victory of the smaller Mexican army against the great French force was a boost to the Mexican people's morale during that wartime struggle. In the United States, Cinco de Mayo has taken on significance beyond that in Mexico. More popularly celebrated in the United States than Mexico, Cinco de Mayo has become a celebration of Mexican-American culture. Celebrations in America began in California, where they have been observed annually since 1863, the first anniversary of the battle. The day gained nationwide popularity in the 1980s, thanks especially to advertising campaigns by beer and wine companies. Today, Cinco de Mayo comes in a close second only to the Super Bowl, in beer sales. So, as you celebrate this Mexican-American national holiday, remember, Texas also has an historic Cinco de Mayo reference, the birth of what would eventually become, the Republic of Texas. And, finally, remember the Mexican general who defeated the French Empire on Cinco de Mayo? Well, history remembers him by his birth name, Ignacio Zaragoza. Seguin. Turns out that Ignacio's mom was Juan Seguin's cousin. Thank you for watching. And remember to tip one to the Tejano Volunteer Company while you're at it. Salud. Oh yeah, drink responsibly. <laughs>